you're probably thinking, gosh, Liz, it's not Thursday. Why are you here a day early? And it's because uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I wanted to get my savings challenge video out to you because if you're like me, you're probably not gonna be watching videos on Thursday if you're in North America. And honestly, I hope that you're spending time with your family or your loved ones, or maybe you're just sleeping in. If you are in the retail world, I appreciate you, I thank you, and I apologize for anyone who is rude or crazy to you because this should be the season and time for thankfulness, not for deal hunting and being rude to people. By the way, super thanks to, if you're someone who is a member of my channel, you leave a comment, you add a like to my video. It's all it's all a beautiful thing to me. So I am truly grateful for any kind of support. Or maybe you just sit on your couch and you watch my videos as you're cash stuffing. Because guess what? That's what I did when I first started. I would binge watch videos and I would just, like I would look at my money and I would be inspired. So if that's you, hi to you and I am thankful for you too. But let's get going. We have $125 today and I wanted to get started with some savings challenges. I am trying to finish up as many savings challenges as I can before the end of the year when I'm going to start fresh. But the first one that we're always gonna tackle is this and it is extra money that I am either putting into a CD ladder or I am actually going to add it because my Roth IRA is not nearly maxed out at all. So so let's see what we're adding today. Finally, the numbers get spicy. This is from Marlene with Snow Gardener 307. And I, so, I know so many of you have actually purchased this and you love it too. And it's just vibrant, it's beautiful, and it makes me happy. But let's add $9 to this today and then at the beginning of next month you won't see this and we'll actually start again uh with the december envelope um the december page so 20 30 34 dollars for today um so 50 dollars for the total page and uh, i'm thinking about how many days that we have left in the month let's do one more yeah let's do it uh and a one I, I, yeah, we can totally okay with this. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this five back. I'm gonna put this and I'm just gonna make it an easy 10. So now we have $35. Okay, that feels super good for me. I am so happy about that. We have no C bucks today and let me check no C bucks and no L bucks. I have one C buck that I need to finish Cam's envelope and then I'm actually going to put that money towards his car and then no L bucks for me and it's totally okay with me. Um, but ooh, I was thinking I'm trying every week I always feel like it's a big surprise when I look at my envelopes and like oh we're close to finishing this one because from week to week I honestly forget what we're doing and I'm it's fine with me it's secret money that I forget about during the week and I never used to be like this I used to be always very aware of how much money I had in change down to the cent so this is a life-changing way of saving money and maybe you're someone and you're just watching this and you're thinking, well, I'm already detailed and I'm already really great about saving my money and I don't need to play games. And guess what? That's totally okay. I applaud you. I want to be like you. I want to be the person who just has the money going into all the different funds and everything the day of payday, but I'm not. I'm someone who is a spender and I have loved turning into a saver. So 50, 60, 72 and I think what we're gonna do is we'll pop this 10 in here put these two fives in here this is Madeline from Romania has this cute birthday challenge and I bought three of them I have three kids three adult kids and the next birthday is actually my birthday but I don't really save for my birthday I save for my kids we're skipping tic-tac-toe and because I, that was one that I would basically just use throughout the month and then I would save it at the end of the month and I'm holding off on that until the beginning of the new year. So for this, we have 50, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Can we make it to $100 in this challenge? Ah, uh, yeah, I think we can. 
So this is kind of like, <laughs> if you grew up in a church situation, if you ever had something that was a revolving dinner, that's sort of what <laughs> this reminds me of. And you would go to one person's house for an appetizer, and then you would go to the next person's house for a meal. And it was honestly, you start with $3 and then you add them up, and then you use that $3 to help be the starter block for the $6 block. But we now have 100, $108 in this challenge. And do I wanna finish it? Am I crazy? Let's let's come back to this. Maybe I, me, again, I never thought maybe this would be the week that I would finish it. Ooh, look at the back of it. Isn't it so dang cute? Freaking Renee, she's adorable. She curls her hair for her videos too, and I'm jealous of her curls. And then she says, shut up, Liz. And I can't help it. I forgot to color these in last week. But due to editing magic, now they are colored in. <gasps> Let's see what little spicy spice Kiara with Budget and Grew has for us. $6 today, so five. And then $6, so now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 87 dollars. Do I wanna do an extra one? 87, 88, 89, 90. There we go. So let's put, I don't have another 10. Okay, well, that was rude of me and the money situation. But look, now we have 90 bucks in this one. It feels so good to finally feel like we're at the end of some of these ones. And I also, I also miss them. Okay, we are going to finish. If you have been with me for a while, you know that I started this challenge and then what happened? We had to use the money from it, but we're gonna finish it today. This is from Kimberly with Savings on the Up. I'm gonna put this away and then I'm probably gonna bring it back maybe later next year. <sighs> Five. 10, 15, let's see how much we have saved. And then I am going to put this in the bank. 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 225. 150, 70, 90, 210, 220, 225. Seriously, 225. This is beautiful and it's so amazing to me. I just, now, because it feels like I started this so long ago and then now it feels like no time has actually passed at all. So I'm just so thankful for that. Okay, so Chris, Chris Gilmore, and she has an Etsy store and I'm gonna leave everything in my pants below if you want the links for this. Let's see what we have today. Do, 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 do. Two dollars and I think we can finish this one too. Oh, it says we did it. We did it. We did. We did. It. Blah, 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 blah. We did do it. Okay. 60 bucks. Thanks, Chris. You're so sweet. Okay, another one that I get to add to my finish savings challenge pile. <gasps> I feel like this means that I'm getting closer to being fully funded for my trip to Disney with my daughter and that makes me happy okay mermaid mermaid coin toss but it's not a coin toss it's a die toss to me okay so one three and five is heads so that's two dollars for this one and i'm gonna roll it again just because i'm trying to get it finished so then two four and six are tails so we're gonna do six dollars for this one so one and five 20, 40, 60, 72 dollars. Yeah, I figure if we can do two more every week for the next two weeks, then that means it's another amazing saving challenge. Cause I'm just, I'm honestly, at the end of the year, I'm gonna pull all these out and I'm gonna go through all my savings challenges and find ones that I wanna do for January. But we're gonna finish this one. Let's see. <sighs> oh, I don't want to finish it. I don't want to finish it. 
Okay, whatever this roll is, that's what we're adding to be home. Five, and that feels kind of sweet. So let's see how much we saved with this challenge. This is from Laura with LV Budgets and it has been probably my favorite saving challenge in my binders right now. I say that like it's my children. I love all of these independently. <laughs> I, but I just, I don't know, I just think this is cute. And so every time I look at it, I tell myself it's my favorite, but honestly, I look at all of them and I say that it's my favorite. So 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. I'm gonna add an extra one to round it up. So $40. And if you're doing this one, let me know in the comments section below. But another challenge finished. <sighs> I, I, I had no idea we were going to be able to finish all of these today. The only one that I knew that we were going to be close to was honestly just the car saving challenge. So this one is from my Tracy with Golden Girl Budgets who just came out with some of the cutest things and what I didn't realize is I had already won I already ordered one and then I went back two weeks later and I ordered the exact same thing. And she was like, uh, you already ordered the chicken coop. And I was like, because I liked it so much the first time, I completely forgot that I already ordered it. So um, I love her chicken coop. And there's another one that I love. I don't know why I love the bananas, but the bananas crack me up. But let's give her $8 today. So now we have $40 in this challenge. And by the way, Jojo with Jojo's money left me the cutest comment because I said that she's just like mathematically amazing. And I think she is. Um, so we are going to, we could actually do a whole 20 for this one today. Five, 10, 15, 20. And let's do this pink color. So again, it looks kind of crazy, but this is all about making savings challenges work for you. And sometimes you have to make them low budget. Sometimes you can do them however you wanna do them. And for me, for these 20s, I was just adding the two and the zero for $2. And this week, I feel like I've got the money. So I feel like I can give it a 20. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 106. That's crazy that there's $106 in this envelope. Ah, okay. Let's go back to this one. And let's see what else we can add to this retirement money for Liz's future. Okay, we're gonna add an extra $4 for this. Oh, yep, okay. We're doing it, we're working it. Ew, this feels good. Of course, it makes me think, oh Liz, it would be so easy to cheat and just start adding new savings challenges. But no, I, I'm desperate. This, like my birthday challenges, these are not something that I'm gonna stop doing at the end of the year. I'm gonna continue with birthdays, but everything else, I just wanna finish it up so bad. Okay, let's see, Madeline, what you have for us now. $4 for this one and it's honestly crazy just to see how 100 to 125 dollars a week adds up and for me the whole reason why this method is a success is just that it gives me time to really think about where my money is going to go and where is the area of greatest need and that's what i love about savings challenges okay i'm going to do a little bit of a bill swap i love the smallest amount of denominations in an envelope as possible i love to cash condense as i go which has caused me issues in the past so don't come here for the accurate counting come here because someone else sometimes is just as clueless as everyone else and I'm not here for perfection I am just here for consistency but we can add an is this another one that we're finishing up oh we can five six seven eight nine this is insane this is true because now this means that next week I can use some of this money to go into my week ahead fund. And my week ahead savings is honestly my biggest, hugest goal for 2024. I, if you've already been thinking about goals for next year, let me know. But 
that, oh, 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 117 dollars. And yet another finished challenge. I, I can't, what am I gonna do in December with nothing to cash stuff? Well, I'll have to think of something, won't I? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I, honestly, I'm gonna have to, okay. So we're gonna cut this one off and cut this one off. And I think we should just do the seven and an eight. So let's finish this one too. One, two. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, wait, 99, 100. See, I told you guys, like sometimes you make mistakes. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We did it. $100. Now it says save 100 to 150. So Kiara was super sweet and super nice for keeping this to a hundred dollars for me. Okay, I'm not gonna keep touching this one, but we, oh, is she gonna make us have an IOU? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Tracy, seven or less, seven or less. Two, let's do this. Let's do this and then I have a feeling like I know what I wanna do and yeah, I, I'm sitting here thinking and I'm like, yeah, we're gonna add some savings challenges back in um, and also start working because my saving for Australia, my car rental is fully funded and then what else? My petrol is almost fully funded. I've just been directly transferring that money online because of the whole ATM issue that we have here, 20, 30, 40, 42. But I'm about ready to start saving for food, for miscellaneous expenses and for souvenirs. Um, and yeah, so I think maybe December is just going to be a huge focus on actually getting everything lined up to go to Australia. 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 106. So if we do, we have five. So we can do a two here. And this one right here is 30. So let's do three. So we can add an extra five to this challenge. So next week we will start actually finishing the rest of these off and continuing to save for Australia for those other categories. 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 111 in Caro Cash's Pepsi Cheers. But thanks for joining me. Happy Thanksgiving to you. And if you don't celebrate, then happy Thursday. And I will see you guys in my next video.